All right, so I have the Sonos soundbar, and it came in because the optical input back here is messed up. I have a Toslink connector right here, and you, you can see it has the red light, so it's active. I have a Blu-ray player connected, but when you go to plug it in, it's just, it's loose in there. But, We're all different, Mr. Hancock. It does work. She wanted me to have it. If you hold it on there, even if you just get it some distance away. I'll show you something, Mrs. Gunn. It does work. So, I just need to find if we can replace this Toslink connector. So, here's a close-up view of it, and as you can see, it's just it's just messed up. I don't know. It normally it has a little door on there to keep uh, dust and dirt out, but it's missing. And so when you go to plug the cable into it, it's just... It's totally loose. It's just flopping around in there. It doesn't... I'm not sure what happened. So let's see if we can get into this thing. I only see a couple of screws in it, and that's on the bottom. So there's a screw way over here, and another one way over here. I'm going to go ahead and pop those out and see if something comes out of here somehow, maybe? I'm not sure. Well, okay, I've spent the last 30 to 45 minutes getting this thing torn apart, and oh my god, whoever designed this, well, once again, they need to be shot in the head because it is not intuitive to get this thing open in the least. So it looks like here's the main power amplifier. Uh, some power supplies over here. I'm not sure. There's a heat sink that connects right here to the outside world. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity right here. Three different antennas connect. Uh, power supply over here on this side. What I've got to get to is down in here, so I've still got more disassembly to get this circuit board out. But look at all these speakers that are in this thing. A tweeter over here, two woofers, a woofer, another tweeter, another woofer, another woofer, another woofer, and another tweeter way over here on the side. So, yeah, if you've got one of these and you've got to work on it, just take your time. Uh, don't rush. Don't pull on anything hard. A lot of stuff unplugs. There are some ground connectors in here. These two ground leads actually attach to this screw on the circuit board right here. So you have to get it open far enough to get that screw out to get those ground leads detached. So there's a point right here where a ribbon cable comes through right here and the only way that I can figure to get this out is to actually cut the grommet that goes in here so I can remove it, peel the grommet away from the cable and then pull the cable through the speaker assembly. Okay so I've got the cover off here it exposes the AC input in the line fuse. I've got all the screws out of the circuit board on this end. Everything's loose as far as I can tell, but it looks like there might be a couple of hidden screws that come in from this direction. So I'm going to have to peel off this label next and see if we can get up underneath it and are there hidden yep there they are look at that sneaky 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 so yeah you gotta peel that label off there are three hidden screws under the label alright check it out the board is out oh my goodness Look what I found. There's the hidden door and the spring that keeps it closed. So now the next thing is, can I find a replacement Toslink optical input to put back in this thing?
Well, here's what's left of the optical input, the Toslink connector, once I got it removed from the circuit board. And you can see it's pretty chowdered up. This is the spring that's supposed to keep the door closed. Here's the door. Door's not in that bad a shape, but the problem is that the, the spring has completely broken off of the top of this unit, so it's no good any longer. Anyhow, I went ahead and I found a replacement. That's what it's supposed to look like with the spring pressing down on the door. So when you open the door, that spring moves up and out of the way. Anyhow, let's go ahead and install it on the circuit board and hopefully get this unit back up and running for this customer. If anybody's interested, the original one was a DLR1160. That's the search term I used. This one popped right up. Toslink optical input. So I went ahead and ordered a couple of them. That way I have a spare. No part number listed on this one, but it certainly appears to be virtually identical as far as size, shape, pin configuration and everything. So let's go ahead and put it on the board and hopefully we'll get this unit back on the road again. All right, there it is mounted back on the board. Now we'll try to reassemble the unit and see if we can get some audio out of it. All right, there it is, up and running. Grandpa's grandpa, grandpa had come across the ocean about a thousand years ago, something like that. If I unplug the optical cable, you can see it is lit. I plug it in. Passing through, like from old mobile. It's working, it actually sounds pretty good even without all the speakers connected right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reassemble it and we'll do one final checkout. Okay, so the Sonos Play Bar is back together. Let's go ahead and plug it in and we'll give it a final test. Okay, there it is back together. Let's turn the volume up. Just lean right back against me. This way we don't have to sleep with our heads in the mood. If you know why we a good partnership for us, because we be watching out for one another. Like brothers and stuff. Anyhow, it's together, it's working great. So I want to give you a quick rundown on how to disassemble this unit if you ever get one of these and you want to try to tear it apart. So underneath both ends. There's an aluminum trim ring right here. It's got to come off. There's four screws on each end. Same thing on this end. The aluminum ring is just held on with some adhesive tape so it can be popped off quite easily. Once you've got that off, you can go ahead and remove uh, the grill assembly. It's actually held in place with Velcro across the top and it's got Velcro across the bottom as well. Be careful, there is a ribbon cable that plugs in to the receiver right here. Once you've got that off, there's a ground wire, I believe it sits right over in here, that connects. Got to take one screw out, ground wire comes off. This can be completely taken off and set aside. Then this, this is the aluminum heat sink. I believe the uh, amplifier sits right over here. Once you've got that off, there's, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six screws that come off. It can be tipped back. There's two tweeter leads here that have to be unplugged. Once that's unplugged, there's, a, I believe, a four pin ribbon cable right here that has to be unplugged. It can be moved aside. Once you've got these two pieces off, then there's 10 screws across the front and I think eight screws across the back. And then don't forget, in the mounting holes down here, there's two more screws. They have to be taken out as well, and then the two halves can be separated. 
Once you've got this end off, there is another ribbon cable that just plugs in here. Can be easily removed off of there. Anyhow, that's it. Hope I give you a quick little rundown on disassembling this unit, even though I didn't show it on camera. But we got it all up and running thanks to the DLR1160 optical input. I did order spare just in case. So I want to give a sincere thank you to those who have supported my channel with a donation via PayPal or by having me repair your unit like this one. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. It really helps my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me, NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below. I try to read and answer all the questions when I have time. Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Thanks for watching this video. Once again, I really appreciate it. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.